Got a wee bit of hauling to do. It's been a busy day. First day after the Easter holidays, so we got mail. So we've got some books to open. So I'll take you through them. Ah, uh, coffee filters. Right, which reminds me. Yeah, I just made a coffee and I haven't sipped any yet. You ready? Yes, yes, yes. Dear Green. Not Dear Green. Uh, Gordon Street. Gordon Street coffee from Glasgow. Right, we have a book. Of. This is my second copy. I already have the Pivir and Volokonsky translation. This is a translation by Ignat Avse. I'm going to be reading it in November for a book club read over on Mike's book reviews. And I wanted to have at least two translations. I'll probably get the Macduff one as well. So. That's one. Let's try and go show you my address. Must you come round? <laughs> penguin covers. Classic penguin cover to cover. I saw this in Argyle Street branch of Waterstones. I just loved it. So it's a colour rendering of penguin covers. So I won't flick through it all, but that's the Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. I looked at that today. So is that. What caught my attention was this one, which is the first Penguin Classics Deluxe I bought. Crime and Punishment. Mm -mm. Oh, and that one as well, which I also bought. Master and Margarita. So I'm going to look forward to flicking through that. Scissors for this one. Feast for Crows, George R. R. Martin. It's the only book in the series that I don't have. I bought them all used in a book haul at Weems Bay Railway Station. And they had the whole series for like a quid each. And for some reason this one wasn't there, so I wanted to complete the collection. I bought this used from World of Books or Abe, I can't remember which one. And it looks new. It even smells new. It wasn't a quid, it was a bit more than that, but still affordable buying used books. So that's the mail. Oh, and the Times Literary Supplement. That's the very first one I've ever had delivered. And I subscribed just briefly because I wanted to read an article about crime and punishment translations. And they wouldn't even give you a free article. So I subbed, read it, cancelled. But for some reason this has come through. It's, it's one I would love to read actually. All the articles I looked at, I didn't just look at the one. They're all really good. And so many articles caught my eye. But it's just another subscription, and I know from having subscribed to The Atlantic that they just pile up, and I don't even take them out of the wrappers. So, I know myself well enough not to subscribe. So, that's that. Book haul from Glasgow. I went today, did a mad dash from Take My Son to the Station, and I had... 25 minutes to get to Waterstone, Socky Hall Street 
They didn't have everything I wanted, so I went to Waterstones, Argyle Street, and made the train. I was hot and sweaty, but I made it. So, first one, Rhythm of War. Part two. I actually wanted both, and I know that they had them last week, because I saw them. But they only had part two, so I bought that and ordered the first part on Amazon. I don't own any of this series, this is Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson, and I'm actually reading part two right now on Audible, and I have it on Kindle as well. But I wanted to tab out certain characters' POV, so that I could read that linearly. It's Eshenai and Venley's story, for those that know the characters. I'm fascinated by what's going on with them in this particular volume, so yeah, I'm going to read that in isolation. And then I'm going to finish the book with the paperback, because I, I find it a better way of reading, actually, than audio. I've taken things in, so my first Brandon Sanderson physical book. Next up, Tess. Tessa the D'Urbervilles, Thomas Hardy. I was sure I had this on the shelf. Couldn't find it. Maybe it's in the loft, but I don't think so. And I'm wondering whether I was thinking of the VHS tape. You know, the Roman Polanski movie? I definitely had that. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I have read it. And they're doing a book review, a read-along, over on Mike's Book Reads for... April. This is the book for April, so I thought, yeah, I would love to read it again. And so I will. I got the Penguin Black Spine. They didn't have any fancy ones. Uh, if I'd had more time, I would probably have compared some of the paperbacks. They had different versions. But I thought, since I don't have time and I want to catch the train, you can't go wrong with the Penguin Black Spine, can you? Although they've changed the cover. I remember the older cover, and I preferred it. It had a colour image of Tess with hay, maybe? can't remember. Next up, Wuthering Heights. Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition with the deckled edge. An artwork by Ruben Toledo. Opens out... It's the same artist who did the Jane Eyre copy that I showed you in my last haul video. I just love this artwork. Isn't it gorgeous? And you know what? The books, the editions, they inspire me to read them. And I suppose that's what the publisher was all about when they had these produced. I love the feel of the page, the text, the colour of the paper. Don't smell like the other ones do. But that's okay. So that's another. Let me just show you Jane Eyre because I have it here. By the same author, eh, same artist. So I have showed you this before, but see if you go and watch another video. two by the same artist. Aren't they great? Last one. Yeah, Anna Karenina. Pavirin Volokonsky translation. Also Penguin Classics Deluxe. It's a heavy one. No artwork on the inlays. And to be honest, I'm not that big a fan of the artwork. And I don't hate it, but it's not inspiring to me. However, the book. Do you know what's interesting is the book material, the cover material is different from these ones. And it actually shows fingerprints quite heavily, which I'm not a fan of either. Nevertheless, it's about the content. And the paper and the text are the same as the other editions. 
in this series. So, yes. I don't have the Praveen and Volokhonsky translation of this novel in eight parts. Well, I do on Kindle, actually. I'm lying. I do have it on Kindle. I do have a hardback, old school copy of this book. The Constance Garnet translation. I'll show you. This one here. Look at that. LT Leo Tolstoy. Old school. Cost me two quid from the used bookshop in St Andrews. And it's published 1911. This is the copy that I read when I was a student. What's interesting is it's called Anna Karenin, and not Karenina. And the translator explains why that is at the beginning, and I disagree with her choice. She said that in English we don't add suffixes to feminine surnames. So her husband is called Karenin. She's called Karenina. So you don't go changing folks' names just for the purposes of translation. And also these little volume one and two Russian editions that are just delightful. But that's for another video and another time. So that's my haul. I'm not sure when I'm going to read all of these. Certainly Tess is going to be this month. Um, crime and Punishment is ongoing, as you know. Master Margarita, I would love to read along with Benjamin McAvoy, because they're doing that right now in the Hardcore Literature Book Club. So there's the four spines. I would like to have bought War and Peace in the same edition. But they didn't have it. And I looked it up on Amazon, it's 33 quid. But it's, I want it to be part of my collection. Maybe Emma, Pride and Prejudice as well. And they don't have, uh, they haven't brought out Brothers Karamazov in Penguin Classics Deluxe. Maybe they will, I don't know. I don't know how that works, how long these have been around. But if they do, I'm sure I'll get it. So, anyway, that's my haul for today. I saw a thing on Instagram today selling t-shirts. It was an advert for book lovers and it said it's not hoarding if it's books. So, I'm going to go along with that. That's me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.